This is K2 News at 5. Y'all want to start school with our students on Monday. Hundreds of teachers in southwest Washington are planning to strike on the first day of school. Today, campus teachers hit the picket lines as they wait for a deal to be reached on a new contract. Evergreen's Teacher Association spent the day going back and forth with the district trying to come to an agreement. Good evening. Thanks a lot for staying with us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Rick Asway for Deb Knapp. Tonight, we should be finding out if the Battleground Education Association will be following Camus and Evergreen's footsteps. They're holding a membership meeting right now to determine their next steps. No strike has been authorized yet. Here's a look at when those districts are supposed to to go back to school. Students in Camas were scheduled to return on Monday. Students in Evergreen and Battleground are scheduled to return on Wednesday. K2's Ricardo Lewis is live in Vancouver right now for us. And Ricardo, what do we know about where the negotiations stand right now? Well, I'm told that negotiations haven't been going too well so far over at Evergreen. I haven't been able to speak with anybody on the inside at Camus. However, teachers say they want to get back to school next week and prevent any strike from happening. What do we want? This is what? When do we want it? Now! Outside of the Camus School District's headquarters, dozens of teachers even students marched together making their demands heard to prevent a looming strike that's set to start on Monday. After 15 years in this district, I know what my students need and I know what's best for them. And I've appreciated that my district has trusted me to do that in the past. And for some reason, this is that we don't trust you anymore. Teachers are asking for more special education support, smaller class sizes, an equitable distribution of PE, library, and music resources. We're hoping they can come to an agreement to protect our class sizes. In fourth and fifth grade, there was word that they wanted to raise class sizes, and I'm at 24 already. Camas district officials say declining enrollment and less funding from the state has put them in a position of laying off staff members. Over in Vancouver at Evergreen Public Schools, Christy Peak with the Teachers Association says negotiations aren't going too well. They're asking for similar changes to teacher contracts. We really are disappointed that the district, you know, is is not willing to provide what students need and not willing to meet their previous agreements. K2 reached out to EPS for an update. We were referred to a statement from Thursday which says the district bargaining team will continue to negotiate with the union to try to reach a deal that is fair to both sides. Back in Camas, teachers were hopeful a deal would be reached on Friday as they are on a tight deadline to strike a deal. Y'all want to start school with our students on Monday. Now, negotiations for all three of those school districts are expected to go into the weekend. We'll keep you updated. We're live in Vancouver. Ricardo Lewis, KT News.